Good morning, everyone. Uh, for those of you I haven't met, my name is Dave Salston. I'm wearing the hat today as a board member of the Canadian Security Lifesaver Association. I'm extremely pleased to be here today with my colleague and fellow board member, J.D. Colleen. Um, for those of you who aren't aware of the Canadian Security Lifesaver Association, we started this back in about 2019 over a conversation on lunch uh, that Kevin Sanjari from Paragon and I had related to how often lives are saved, the incredible things frontline, uh, frontline security officers do on a regular basis. And we thought, he was doing a recognition uh, uh, award presentation for his team. I was doing the same thing for one of my teams. And we thought, you know what, it might be great to get leaders across the country in the field to put together a bit of a board to actually propagate and put a spotlight to, uh, on the amazing things that frontline security teams do. So with that, uh, we have an absolutely phenomenal board, absolutely, as JD may have mentioned earlier, nonpartisan um, from just about every security company and right across from Vancouver to Victoria to uh, Calgary into um, the East Coast. So really good rep representation. And we've had uh, submissions come in from as far north as Whitehorse and as far as east as Dartmouth. So. Um, how do we arrive at uh, the award recipients? JD, do you want to take that away? And I sure do. Thanks, Thanks. Dave. Uh, so we give out a quarterly award. Uh, what has surprised us is the number of life-saving nominations across the country. We are getting anywhere every quarter between 35 and 50 nominations. That's our frontline security professionals saving lives in Canada. So it's extraordinary and we want to make sure that we're getting recognition for all of our security professionals in the country. So our process is every quarter, we open up our website, canadiansecuritylifesaver.ca, and we accept nominations. Very simple uh, form that we ask you to fill out to describe the event. And then the, those um, nominations are all anonymized and sent out to all the board members and they're all evaluated and rated on a ranking scale. So it's all, we don't know what company or, or who the people are. We really evaluate the event and what exactly happened and the significance of it, how you know, somebody really saved a life. Um, it, it is very difficult to, to determine the winner sometimes, so we have come up with a scoring metrics. And then every quarter, uh, we, wherever we are in the country, we try to meet our security professionals wherever they are, and then we do a presentation. And we have a beautiful medallion and a certificate for you and a lapel pin for each of the award recipients. Uh, all the nominees also get a nice certificate as well, just to recognize that they were nominated and they did save a life. So um, with that, without further ado, I want to introduce Keith Mello from Cadillac Fairview. Good to see you, Keith. Thank you for being here. And he's going to describe the incident uh, that these three fine security professionals are being rewarded for today. Good morning, everyone. So on a wet evening on January 6, 2022, shortly after COVID restrictions had been lifted, customers were shopping at CF Fairview Mall. Unfortunately, an individual came into the mall via our stealth entrance doors where he removed plastic bags around his running shoes. He was wearing all black, including a black ski mask and carrying a sledgehammer as well as an ax. He quickly proceeded to Michael Hill Jewelry Store where he began smashing window cases while staff were serving customers. Customers ran to escape while staff tried their best to remain calm during this jewelry heist. Staff were in shock and began breaking down and fearing for their lives. Judeo Cardeo, Jay, a CF security supervisor for over 13 years at Fairview Mall, was on the lower level patrol when he heard people screaming and the loud sound of glass smashing. Jay arrived on scene. He observed the fear in the eyes of the staff while the assailant retrieved several jewelry items from the store cases, totaling just under $100,000. The assailant observed Jay approaching and proceeded to exit the mall where he ran into, uh, directly into our third party provider, CanCom Security, Carlos Inglesias. In collaboration, both Jay and Carlos safely and effectively apprehended the assailant while our security team responded to the area. Jody Ann Baugh, ex-police officer from Jamaica and a CF security guard for one year arrived on scene, noticed the distraught staff and the devastation left behind. Jody Ann 
engaged with empathy and stayed with the staff, securing the environment and comforting them for their safety. The staff were so distraught that they were not able to speak to the alarm company and the police when they arrived on scene. The police arrived shortly after and took control over the scene as well as the assailant. The incident went viral as some customers stood around recording the incident on their phones. The feedback was positive as many thanked security for responding and apprehending the assailant. The next day I had the opportunity to speak to the staff at the store who were very appreciative that security apprehended the assailant. And the most common comment that we received from the staff was, we wouldn't have felt safe to return back to the store knowing that this individual was out on the loose. For days, weeks, even months, mall staff and the community members continued to thank Jay and the security team as they keep hearing about other mall locations being victims of jewelry heists. Observing the appreciation by myself from the staff, from the community, I decided to nominate Jay, Jody Ann, and Carlos as they both exceeded security expectations. With the last two years of COVID lockdowns, the high stress levels, our security team stepped up to um, alleviate the stress of being another victim. We at Calic Fairview would like to thank Canadian Security Lifesaver and its board of directors for acknowledging the efforts of frontline staff right across Canada. Thank you. Um, good morning. Um, good morning to Fairview Mall, uh, the Fairview Mall community, uh, fellow staff, board members, and guests. Thank you for attending. Congratulations, Carlos Iglesias, Jado, and Jody Ann. It's a great honor to be a sponsor of the Canadian Security Lifesaver uh, Association. The CLSA has united the security industry by providing a forum to recognize such recipients. Today, we recognize the actions of these three individuals who went above and beyond the mandated duties. The mandate of the proactive presence, observing, deterrence, and reporting had been surpassed, and the recipients had been uh, committed to arresting a violent perpetrator. They have gone above and beyond their mandate in placing themselves in potential harm in harm's way. This speaks to the recipient's commitment to the service and adding value to the community they serve. We acknowledge their heroic actions, Carlos Iglesias, Jado, Jody Ann, and honor them today. In moments of chaos, tragedy, people look to leadership and there's only hope. And in this case, they didn't need hope. They had these three fine individuals to respond and not react and resorting to their training and they're very well trained individuals as they handled this situation very professionally. Very proud of all three of you. Our recipients provided more than hope on this tragic day. So congratulations, Carlos, Jado, and Jody Ann on a fine job well done. Thank you for your service. I should also mention in introducing Ron Wells, the sincere nonpartisanship of this is we have recipients. Ron is the CEO and president of CanCom Security and there's two groups being awarded. So there, there's literally no competition in this type of thing. So it's an absolutely phenomenal thing to see. So thank you for that. Yeah, I, I just to add to that, that's what this industry needs is this unification in uh, we have, uh, you know, a mandate to raise the ladder of our industry. And this is such a great platform and very proud to be a sponsor. Thank you. Well, without further ado, it's time to award three individuals. So Jody Ann, Carlos, and Jado with your certificates. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Jody. Well done. Carlos? Carlos? Congratulations, Carlos. There you go. Here's your beautiful medallion. We'll get you loaded up. 
Well done. Okay. Congratulations. Should be the medallion. And the pal pen. I also want to encourage everyone to go on Canadian Security Lifesavers.ca and nominate your fellow officers when they do something absolutely phenomenal. Thanks very much and thanks for coming out today.